In this video, we're going to continue our comparison between least squares estimates of linear regression models with those of maximum likelihood estimates. And in doing so, we're actually going to prove that not only is least squares estimators uh, or are least squared estimators blue under certain assumptions, then also under some other assumptions that we can prove that least squares not only is the best linear unbiased estimator, that is in fact the best unbiased estimator. So whether we're talking about a linear estimator or not. And at the end of the last video, we derived the differential or the derivative rather of the log likelihood with respect to the parameter beta. And we got this expression here. So if we are looking to obtain the asymptotic distribution of maximum likelihood estimates of linear regression models, then what we need to do is we need to work out the information matrix. And if you remember for this particular model, we've got two parameters, beta and sigma. But because of the way in which beta and sigma appear in the likelihood function, it is actually going to be a symmetric um, matrix, which is diagonal. So it's only going to have two elements, the top left, which is the, which I'm going to write I beta beta, and the bottom right, which is going to be I sigma sigma. And the other two entries are just going to be zero. So for this particular system, then all we need to do in order to work out the asymptotic uh, distribution of maximum likelihood estimators for beta is we need to work out I beta beta, which is just the second derivative of the um, likelihood or log likelihood rather with respect to beta. And then all we need to do in order to get the variance, we just need to invert that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if I take the second derivative of the log likelihood with respect to beta, so I get d2l over d beta squared, then this 1 over sigma squared stays there. And from the bracket, the only thing which I get left behind is just going to be xi times xi as well as this minus. So we're just going to have minus 1 over sigma squared times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi squared. And as I said in this definition up here, I'm defining this term here to be the top left component. In other words, i beta beta. So if we want to derive the asymptotic variance of maximum likelihood estimators of the parameter beta, then all we need to do is we need to take the inverse of this particular term. And because it's just a scalar, we just need to invert the scalar. Uh, as well as actually, I should probably write that this is actually minus the uh, our sort of estimator for i beta beta. It's going to be the estimator because we're actually going to replace um, sigma squared with sigma hat squared. And it's minus because of the way in which the information matrix is defined and the variance has to be greater than zero. So we find yeah. that the kramer rao lower bound is in fact equal to the inverse of this, which is just sigma hat squared divided through by the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi squared. So this is the kramer rao lower bound. And actually, this looks very similar to that which we obtained by least squares. And, and in fact, it's exactly the same variance or the estimated variance which we obtained via least squares. So what does that tell us, given that we've derived that the maximum likelihood estimator for beta has exactly the same estimated variance as that of least squares? Well, what it tells us is that since least squares estimators achieve the kramer rao lower bound, then that implies that least squares estimators must be the estimators which have the lowest, or the unbiased estimators, which have the lowest variance. Because no unbiased estimator can have a variance which is lower than the kramer rao lower bound. And if it's equal to that, it must be the estimator which has the lowest variance given that it is unbiased. So that implies that beta hat least squares is boo. In other words, it's not blue because we're, we're sort of forgetting about the linearity assumption here. We're just saying that least squares estimators are the best unbiased estimators. 